today is the day that we find out who won my little giveaway. I am so excited about this and to see who won. This giveaway went amazing. I was blown away by how many of y'all entered and participated. Um, it went better than I expected and could have ever imagined. So thank you to all who participated. It meant so much to me to see all y'all's comments and shout outs and just that y'all wanted to be a part of it and to try everything out. So we will definitely have to do more giveaways in the near future with um, bigger, more luxury uh, makeup items. So I think we can have a lot of fun with this and I'm really glad it went so well. So the number one thing that was so requested from all of y'all was a makeup collection video and that like made me so happy because that's the one that I've wanted to do but I didn't know if like a lot of y'all wanted to see that because I already talked about a lot of the things that I already have. So what I'm going to do is for each day of the week I'm going to go over different topics so at the end of this video I'm going to show y'all my palette collection and then like Wednesday do my brushes and Thursday do foundation and Friday do concealer something like that so yeah I'm gonna announce the winner and then stay tuned if you wanna see all of my eyeshadow palettes that I've collected over the years so let's get started I have all of our little people are y'all as nervous as I am or am I more nervous? Okay. Amy C. Parks, you won the giveaway. Congratulations. Um, just email me your address or I can just bring it to you to church or whatever would work best for you. So congrats. I'm so excited. And yeah, as soon as you see this video, just shoot me an email and we can work something out to get the box to you. And again, thank you to all the other contestants. We will for sure do this again. And let me know if there is something that y'all would like me to maybe giveaway or a certain type of makeup or a certain thing that would be fun for y'all to try to get a chance to win. Okay, so now moving on to my um, palette collection. I'm not doing all of the eyeshadows I have, like the singles and just the little quads. I'm doing like the actual palettes and I'm kind of going in order, not really. I'm just kind of going from like my first palettes and my not so favorites to the latest ones that I've purchased and my favorites. So we have a lot to get through so let's get started. The very very first palette that I bought that was like my big colorful palette was this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It was super cheap. I think this was like six dollars. Next is this nearly nude palette. This is from Icing and um, again it's just a really cheap palette with just a bunch of different colors. This is not my favorite. I wasn't very impressed with this but uh Yep, I thought this next palette is from Sedona Lace, and this is a huge, has this whole thing, and then you lift this tab, and you have two super big colorful palettes, and this is fun to play with, it's just not, like on my fingers, it's pretty pigmented, but on the eyes, it's kind of... They're just kind of chalky and I don't know, but this whole thing was like $19.99, 20 bucks, so it's really cheap, but it is fun to play around with since there's so many colors. I will grab for this sometimes when I'm doing like a Halloween look or I want a specific like pop of color. I'll do like a, I'll do like a white or black NYX crayon and then put this on top and it works pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is my Estee Lauder palette and this is actually pretty nice I think. I just haven't really played with this that much um, but it has really really pretty colors I just kind of always forget about it and I they're just not pigmented man like can't really see that but it's a gorgeous palette the colors are beautiful but um I don't know it's just not it just didn't really do much for me <laughs> the next one is this Too Faced Cat Eye palette and these are kind of the same. I wasn't a big fan of the pigmentation on this. Um, but like, I know Kathleen Lights and a few other YouTubers really, really love these. Um, I just, I don't know what it is. I just could never get on board with these. And so there's like a whole other line of these little tin ones. And I just, I couldn't purchase them because I wasn't a fan of this one. But, uh, but anyways, it's a cute palette. And I mean, it does what it needs to do just wasn't my complete favorite. This next one is this Tarte High Performance Naturals. Now I, okay, these next palettes I absolutely 
love all of them. I'm not saying like, oh, I don't like this one or the next one or the next one. These are all fantastic palettes. I'm just kind of going in order from when I got them and kind of what I use less than I use some of the other ones. And there's just some formulas that I like a little bit more than others. But anyways, this is the Tarte High Performance Naturals palette. And it has all of these gorgeous shades. My um, like silver cool tone shades mainly comes out of here and I love that look. It's been fun to play around with and I love it a lot. Alright, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and I was obsessed with this when I bought it. When I first got this, I could not put this thing down. I was wearing this every single day, and it's really not a palette that you can get a whole lot of, like, everyday looks out of, but I was figuring out how to use it every day. So, um, these are incredible eyeshadows. They're so pigmented and creamy and gorgeous, and I love this, and I will grab for this every day. This Dusty Rose shade and the Buttery shade are gorgeous, like, transitions and just good base colors to have and then this pop of yellow is so fun um, but yeah this is an awesome awesome palette so the sixth one is my Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nade palette this is so gorgeous I love this I play with this a whole lot and this whole middle row is pretty much my favorite I love these really pretty shimmery colors I ordered this like the day it went online on Sephora like I was in the car coming home from something and I was sitting back there like ordering it I was like yes girl Okay, these next two are the Lorac Pro palettes, and I absolutely love these. I couldn't decide which one, so I got both of them because, well, I have an issue with that. I think the black one is this first one, and it just, these shadows honestly blow me away. They're so creamy and pigmented. This is just an incredible palette. Both of these are just so easy to make a whole bunch of looks out of. You get your color, but they're like subtle and easy to blend and easy to work with and incorporate in the colors that they give you. And they just did a really, really nice job on these palettes. And I absolutely love them. I reach for these a whole lot. Next is my Battle Lash for Socks Box palette. And I love this thing. These three colors are what I did my mermaid look with completely the scales and the eyeshadow and everything came from this palette um it's just i love it i've used this a ton and i travel with this um and yeah it's it's pretty amazing i don't know i don't think you can still get it but if you can find it get it all right these next two i know that i raved about these two a few months back on one of my videos i think it was when i either purchased it or I had played about around with it and it was a favor or something. I don't know. But this first one is the Urban Decay. I don't know really what this is. It just says Shadow Box. Urban Decay Shadow Box. But anyways, it has all these super fun colors in it. And I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I've never used an eyeshadow from theirs that I didn't like. Um, and these colors are so fun. They're all shimmeries except for the black, which is matte, which I do like because I tend to reach for glittery and more shimmery colors more than I do matte. And so I have had a lot of fun with this palette. And then the next one's kind of the same ordeal as that one. This is like $35. I know that this is called the Ammo Palette. But I can't remember what that one is. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the Urban K Ammo Palette. Same idea. A little bit more pops of color. It looks like they're kind of more on the pastel side. Um, these are all shimmery and glittery. This has two more shadows than this one. But, uh, yeah, I love this. I think I grab for this one more than I do this one just because I love this Maui Wowie color. Oh, love using that. And the Mildew and the Shattered. And I reach for these three all the time. Just when I need an extra little something-something in my eye look. Love this palette. Okay, and then, this one's disgusting because it's my, been my baby from the beginning. But this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the one that I travel with. I could not live without this palette. It's just kind of the palette that everyone starts off with, that everybody has. Um, yeah, I love it and wouldn't want to do life without it. That's so sad that I'm saying that about a makeup palette. Now we have my Morphe Babies. And this first one is the 35P palette. And this is just a palette with a whole bunch of purples. And these are anywhere from $20 to $30. It's just great, and the pigmentation is insane for the price. I think this was one of the ones that was like $19.99. Anyone. It's cray cray, and I love it. This next one is 35O, and this is the palette that Manny and Jacqueline have been raving about, and so I was like, girl, yes, I'm going to get that. So, it's just this... <sighs> it makes me want to cry. It just screams fall, like, 
It's Cream's fault. I love it. I heard my phone vibrate, but I don't know where it's located. Anyway, so this one pretty much stays out of stock. So if you are wanting it, you need to follow Morphe and and grab it as soon as they restock. Because as soon as they get a shipment in, it's like out the door again. So make sure you get on that. And then this one's just kind of a palette that I put together with their single eyeshadows. And I put them in an empty palette. Um, these are just colors that I personally wanted to play around with and that I knew I would use a lot. So... And lastly, my most recent purchase was the Kat Von D Me Vita Loca like, Remix Palette. And it is so pretty. The look I'm wearing is completely from this. I'll have a tutorial on it up tomorrow. But yeah, it just slides out and you have this whole color wheel. At first I didn't think I wanted it, but the more that I was looking at it and watching tutorials and stuff, I was like, okay, yes, you're coming into my life. Um, because I was like, I have all of those colors, like I don't need any of those colors. But really, once I got there and started swatching them and stuff, like they look like everyday normal colors, but they're really not. They're each so unique, and I've had a lot of fun with this. You have your whole like neutral circle in the middle, and then uh, just a, like rainbows everywhere. It's barfing rainbows. Um, but yeah, I love it. These are incredibly pigmented and blendable. So that is it for my eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be posting a video with showing y'all how to do this eye look with this palette. So hopefully Wednesday I will have another like collection video. I think I'm going to do my brushes because that is something that I've wanted to show y'all and talk to y'all about. So Wednesday we should have a brush video up. So we shall see how it goes. And I hope y'all enjoyed that. Again, congrats Amy. And thank you to all the other participants. Um, we will definitely have another one coming up soon. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.